to start click new project and then select the videos that you will be using so for this tutorial i'll be using three videos in total and after that wait for it so here are the videos that you will be using so remember to arrange those videos based on the number and after that let's make this each clip to shorten so I'll be cutting some parts of it so choose the best part in each video clip and after that go to filters and then you will see different kinds of filters that you can try and use of course so there are different categories here but for now click the film category and then we will be using the double life filter then adjust its filter to 90 and then go to adjust so click exposure make it negative 10 and for the contrast make it negative 10 as well for the saturation make it positive 10 for the vibrance make it positive 10 also for the brightness and then for the highlight make it negative 10 and lastly for the temperature make it positive 10 so let's spread this but before that, go to adjust again, then click HSL. So here, we will be adjusting each color by the U, saturation, and lightness. For the color red, make the U to negative 10. For the saturation, positive 10. And for the lightness, make it negative 10 as well. So as you can see, the value is almost the same. Well, for the color orange, make the U to positive 10, saturation negative 10, and lightness positive 10. For the color yellow, make the U to negative 4, saturation 50, then lightness, let's make it negative 93. I think that's enough. For the color green, Make the U to negative 25, saturation negative 29, and for the lightness, let's make it negative 1. While for the color blue, make the U to 36, then saturation negative 26, then lightness, make it 1. For the color indigo, Let's make the U to negative 18, saturation negative 22, lightness 19. Well, for the color purple, make the U to negative 26, saturation negative 18, and for the lightness, let's make it 16. And for the last one is the magenta. Make the U to negative 22, then saturation 18, while well, for the lightness, let's make it negative 16. You can copy my settings if you want, then let's spread this one to apply it in all the video clips. So here's the initial result, and after that, Let's add keyframe. So to add the keyframe, make sure to put first keyframe on the first part. 
So let's try to zoom this one first and then adjust on the end of the first video clip. So let's zoom this one like this. So it will have a zoom effect. Then do it on the rest of the video clips. So it's up to you if you want to have a simple zoom effect for this by using the keyframe. Make sure to center the object so it will be focused. And after that, go to transition. So there are transitions here that you can try. There are different kinds of categories so, so if you want some basic transitions only but for now I will not use some transition it is better to have no transition for this video I guess so after that click export